We basically study moths and we are dealing mainly with the foraging behavior of these moths. These animals, when they find a potential uh, source of nectar, they hover in front of it and extend their proboscis. The first hypothesis was these animals are probably using some mechanical information, some tactile information that comes from the proboscis. We know that the proboscis is loaded with taste receptors and, and also mechanoreception receptors. The flowers that they exploit are usually tubular and they also have some radial grooves. It is the first thing that one can think of. Probably they are using this tubular shape and these grooves that the corolla has to find the nectary. We try to reduce our system and work with artificial flowers that we can manipulate uh, shape, uh, surface area and different aspects of the flowers but controlling the rest of the system. So we try to design a couple of experiments trying to see if by disrupting the tactile information that they could get from the visual information, we could start getting a sense on whether they were using actually mechanoreception or if it was vision that was guiding their proboscis. In one case, we are using groups that lead to the nectary. In the other case, we are using groups that mislead to the nectary. These moths foraging here would probably be less successful. Th those were our predictions based on the hypothesis that they do use tactile information when they are probing on the flowers. We load the flowers with very minute amounts of sucrose solution and we placed 12 flowers on top of a box that had sweet fragrance. And for this, what we used was bergamot oil, which is very sweet, in cotton swabs concealed beneath the flower array and we let individuals forage for 10 minutes. After these 10 minutes, we go and see how many flowers have been emptied. The lights are very dim, light conditions that you would get in a half moon clear night. All the time I was filming the animals with uh, these cameras that have a night shot. So with infrared light that they do not see, we can film with better resolution. The behavioral rules that these animals follow have been shaped by their ecological interactions with the constraints that their physiology has. So what we are trying is to put this together and see the animal as a process in between the, its physiology and its ecology. We were very surprised. When we put the grooves in a parallel disposition, it, it is very striking how the animal really uh, clings to this, uh, to this feature of the flower and, and basically just props there, uh, as if it knew that the nectar should be there. <laughs> the most fun is the process, trying to get to know them, have ideas of how they, they are working in nature, uh, doing specific uh, experiments, and at least uh, thinking that we are discovering little by little uh, how, how they are behaving, what is that they care about their environment.